All right, ready to go. Out of the timeout. Pass is thrown. It's high. It's intercepted. And this may very well be a pick six down the right side. And it will be a touchdown. Christian Sears. Wait, how about that play? Looks like the Red Foxes are driving down the field. They call timeout. They're trying to get things together. And I don't know what happened, but that ball certainly did not come out of Mike White's hand in a, in a clean manner. It's the completion. After missing on his first two passes, Jeske is converted to. Yinger finds room on the right side. Can he get around the corner and into the end zone? Not quite, but a big gainer. Can turn it over to Maris. The field goal will be hit from 38 yards. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. He's got 13 yards on the ground. He's going to hand the ball off, and there's all sorts of room for Tucker Yinger, and he's still on the move. Cuts around to the outside. Will anybody catch him? At the five yard line, down he goes. Great pursuit defensively from Maris. Fake the handoff, and the pass is intercepted. A big turn of events for the Dayton Flyers, Cameron Stubbs. You get the first. Back to the ground game, they've opened up some holes, and there's another one, and he's on his way. Ginger, can he get to the end zone? No, he's caught from behind. Zach Quarles. And you've worked the clock down to inside a minute to play. Just hold on to the ball, and it's gonna be a pump fake, and Jeske's gonna go around the end, and Jeske's gonna take it in for the touchdown. On senior day, the red shirt freshman steps up. Barring a penalty, the last play of the game. White into the end zone. Lots of bodies there. The ball's out of bounds. The game is over. On senior day, the Flyers leading much of the contest. Fall behind late. Come back and win 28-21.